What? We don't need that. Last alliance. I want to see this. No apology necessary. What is up guys and welcome to the Beyond Sanas channel, my name is Shanks and today we're gonna take a look into the Dagor, Dagor of mod for BFME to the Rise of the Witch King but this one is a bit different than the one we have done before. This is the Dagor, Dagor of Remastered 0.29.7 and I have no clue what this is all about, we're gonna figure out together. So let's go on skirmish and let's choose the faction Arnor first. So we're gonna work our way up from the top until the bottom and we're also gonna be using the Forts of Ising testing map, okay? The good thing here about this map is that we have the chance to pick up every single power point right from the beginning of the game. So we don't have to fight to get them. You know, for showcasing, perfect. It's the ring. Get it. Quick. Okay, we will get the ring, don't worry about it. Let's take a look into the power points first. So healing arts of the ancients. Among the ancients, okay, pretty much heal. With like lots of description. Then we have the horn of Arnor, pretty much like a rallying call, war chant. More damage, more armor for the allied units. Then we have the blood of the Nomenorians. The blood of the ancient Nomenorians gives people of Arnor longevity. Arnor soldiers regenerate permanently. Okay, it's like a passive thing. Then we have the Ar architects of Arnor. Uh, repair buildings, pretty much rebuild. Then we have the forest of the Cardolan. A forest of Cardolan blooms from the ground. A pretty much like an Albin wood, I believe. But we can summon it later. We have also the Hobbit Summon, which they are called Detachment from the Shire. <laughs> summon in command, briefly, Bandoros took in his 50 archers from the Shire. Again, it's very important, the mods are not meant to be balanced, because they are being majorly played by the casual players, so it's about fun. We have the Lone Tower, and then the Bloodline of the Kings, or of Kings, called the Mighty Army of the Enchanters from the early days of the war against Angmar, on the battlefield in order to renew the glory of Arnor. Arvelek and an army of Arnor soldiers appears in the target area for a limited time. Last Alliance, an army of soldiers, okay. Swords of the I will West. represent the men of Gondor. Thanks for the follow, appreciate it, it really means a lot. Um, these blades protect their bearers from magic, poison, oh that's kind of crazy, okay. So you can actually kind of use it on a on a on a allied unit, basically. It's like um, but it's 15 power point. It has to be mighty. It has to be mighty. The downfall of the Numenor summons a massive tidal wave. Okay. And last but not least, we have for 30 power points, Army of the Past Ages summons the sport of the armies of Armenelos from Numenor. Heroes Elros, Vardamir, and Tindomil. Summoned hero are <laughs> Farazon and the host of Numenor. It's a passive ability too. It's kind of crazy. So we can recruit all the heroes first. And what is this? Here done. So we have the chance to recruit Argaleb with like lots of lore. Again, a really crazy detailed mod. We have Elendil himself. We have Ernor also with lots of lore. Aran Aranarf. And last but not least, Arviduil. Arvadui. These are crazy names, my dude. I mean, it looks like the Man of the West faction to me, but it's like Arnor style. And what happened to the power points? Did we not pick them up? What? I'm confused. Hold on a second. Let me try one more time. Okay. Now it's working. Okay, we can also build, I mean, the well, we know that. Statue, we know that. Sentry tower, we know that. It looks a bit different though. And library of Farn Fornost. I cannot build this, what? I will lead this army. And then we have also the chance to go for the blacksmith, of course, the siege forks, the steeple. I want to take a look into the steeple. I want to also take a look in... Uh, we have no money. Okay, that's what it is. Okay, we, uh, we invested all the money into the heroes, right? That's the problem. So we need to eventually build some farms. <laughs> okay, we have all the heroes recruited though. That's dope beside this dude. Uh, he's also here. Okay, so let's take a look into them deeply, shall we? So this dude here is Argilab. And the good thing about this map too, guys, is that you can level them up by just getting on this area. I want to also pick up the ring. Can I pick up the ring with every anybody? Or are only a few limited heroes able to do that? I'm wondering if the ring system is going to be like in in Edenmod, you know, in which the 
bearer of the ring is going to be influenced or corrupted or if you can bring the ring to the fortress and then you know recruit a ring hero i don't know but we will find out the enemy watches Udo so i cannot pick it up with this dude this is ill news indeed hmm. people must survive okay they are all about to hit level 10. yeah sir middle earth depends on us middle earth depends on us i'm gonna try to pick up the ring with any anyone we can also send this dude back so this is the king of Numenor, pretty much like a leadership part um, for the daddy of Isildur, conqueror. He landed himself led, the, led his army to Baradur and besieged it. Nearby units of the last alliance for 10 seconds inflict much more damage against buildings and are also able to destroy reinforced walls. Okay. The bleed of Nor Nars. Oh. What happened to the ring? Did I not pick up the ring? I mean, the heroes, like, once again, guys, I need to repeat myself. It's like a very informative, um, you know, game. Like, I believe playing one or two games with each faction is not going to be enough to understand the full potential of each faction. But this should be like a first impression, like a small overview kind of video. Because I don't want this video to be like one hour long by reading all the lore. Oh, we have seen somebody here. Kill this. Can you kill this? So thank you, too. Oh, he has the one ring. Okay, this guy is able to pick it up. Only this guy, Arvi Dui. I'm wondering if... Hold on. Can I bring it back to the fortress now? Like, I genuinely don't understand. Like, this guy has 10,000... I think he got boosted. I think he got boosted because he's level 11 now all of a sudden. What? How? Oh, he's level 11. I mean, they have all crazy damage. Dude, this guy has a melee damage of 1,440. I cannot bring it to the fortress, can I? I don't think so. Uh, let's build some mills. I want to get some more money because our eco is looking really, really bad. And as you can see, in this map, we have also all the possible workers. They look a little bit strange. <laughs> this is, I believe, from Mordor. You can also build this here. It's going to be like a slaughterhouse, I believe. A mineshaft, okay? Um, the steeple, donkey rider. <laughs> we have Donatan Knights and we have the shields. I want to actually see the donkey rider. <laughs> That's quite funny, dude. I like that. Um, but I'm curious what happens with this dude. Power of the Silmaril. Arvidoi proudly takes the Sil. Oh, I believe that's like a. The ring is the Silmaril. Okay, that's going to be the power of it. I mean, my eyes are actually hurting. He's shining literally bright like a diamond. Okay, I want to read this though. Takes the Silmaril for his kingdom. He desires to become powerful king. Arvid it's so, such a strange name. Arvidui was heir of the faithful Numenorians. That is why Valar gave him, the, gave him knowledge about Silmaril and how to use it. With knowledge of Valar and power of Silmaril, Arvidui making his kingdom, kingdom stronger. Also, Arvedui leadership range was increased. Nearby heroes, troops receive double armor, damage, knockback resistance, and 25% more speed. Stacks with all leaderships from Arno heroes passive. So, um, it's pretty powerful because they get like double armor, which is pretty nice. You can, you know, you have like 100% more armor pretty much. But uh, I was expecting a bit more from the mighty ring hero. But he's level 11. I think he can level up even more. Loyal to Val Valar. Before the downfall of Numenor, there were two main political parties. I mean, dude, I can summon huge army sent by King of Arda. Okay, finally, the last sentence is what it is all about. Like, lots of lore information, and we can summon them now. What? Oh my, crazy stuff. Dude, you can legit summon a full army, man. We have two hundred archers, they are... But only for a short duration. And we have also two giant eagles we can summon. Two giant eagles we can summon. That's crazy. Okay, we need a bit more money though. Okay. Again, guys, it's so informative. It's so crazily informative. I don't even know what to say. Our money is still not looking that good. Um, okay, so that's the battle tower. We are also able to summon like a lone tower. It's going to be excited like in Rise of the Witch King. Nothing special. Even the animation is pretty much the same. Um, this one is going to be 
kind of crazy. I want to see this one. Ah, it's like a, it's like a flat. Look at the, look at the map though. You know that it leaves like a water on the ground, but it, it pretty much like a copy paste flat. Swords of the Westerners. Okay, we can summon them, or we can. Ah, that's like a buff, right? Yeah. Okay, that's like a buff. We don't need that. Last alliance. I want to see this. No apology necessary. But look, we have Isildur on the field too. Like you can also summon heroes. We have also Anarion. Gigalat. I mean, this is a pretty powerful summon too, because you can even summon Elendil himself. Elendil himself. Even though you have Elendil also from your fortress, you know? Like, this includes the Imladri Spearmen. You have also Imladri Swartmen. Trunadine Soldiers. Yeah. And they are... Look, I mean, the detailed look on them, it's looking pretty nutty to me. It looks pretty beautiful. Eldrond, of course, is also around. He has no abilities to... I mean, he has. Does his duty as a herald and borrows the leader of the Last Alliance strength. All the heroes of the Last Alliance can be cured. Ah, it's like a restoration, pretty much. Gilgalat and Anarion. Merciless charge. Isildur uses his sword arts to slay his enemies ruthlessly. Oh, look, our allied units in the way, they will also be hit by Isildur. He doesn't, he doesn't care, you know what I'm saying? And he gets 100% more damage and cannot be overturned. Okay? Okay? I mean, yikes, dude. I want to see the Hobbit summon too. In the Hobbit summon, you can summon uh, Bandobras. And you have also the chance... Actually, you don't get like the regular Plap Hobbits. You actually get those Hobbit archers. From the Shire. And this is going to be their leader. Level 10 too. Um, Golf Sphinx. Height, okay. They become invisible, I believe. And you can also throw rocks. Rock but you cannot summon the regular hobbits. I believe it's like a different age, right? What is this happening? Because as you can see, the, the fortress, you cannot even recruit. I mean, only the, the only hero we know is actually Elrond. Like, everything else is pretty much new. And this dude, Argelep. Oh, so let's take a look into him. The uh, design is pretty, you know, nothing special about the design. He has pretty much leadership. Missing Contralva. You love to see it. Argelab's charge. Required level 8. Only available on foot. Inspires his allies with the leadership. Allied units near him gain 75% armor. And damage character units can trample enemy more effectively. And we have the Palace Wellness. Selected structure. Okay. Okay, so he's like a tanky boy. Like, he has so many tools to get himself a bit more tanky, I believe. Then we have El Elendil, the king the himself, watches. with them level 10, calls for some time six battalions of Minorians for help. For oh yeah, and they are level 5 too. Form a wall! Guardians of Arnor. We had best go. Uh, you know, it's not that powerful in my opinion. There are way more powerful abilities than that. So this is like, um, like a leveling up thing. The Bleed Narsil. Isildur, the heir of the throne of Gondor, receives the power of Narsil. But why Isildur? Ah. Okay, it makes way more sense. You can actually buff with this Isildur, but unfortunately you cannot even recruit Isildur, can you? It says revive Elendil. But my Elendil isn't dead, dude. <laughs> you know what happened? I believe the Elendil we have summoned before isn't considered as like a... What? Okay, Silmaril Management Arnor. All heroes, all units and heroes are unable to collect the Silmaril. Only Arvido can collect the Silmaril. When, I, when the hero carrying the Silmar Silmaril dies, they will leave it behind at the place of their death. If the Silmaril is not collected within 3 minutes, it will disappear, falling into the hands of Maglor again. Faction leaders. And similar heroes have a unique leadership that makes allies in a large radius immune to fear and terror. Okay. How will the world speak my name in years to come? Now we have the Sirdan, who is level 1. But again, no problem. We can just send him to this location. And Bibidi Babidu, he will be level 10. What is this conqueror? Um, nearby units of the... Okay, we have already seen this one. Let's take a look into Ernor. Okay, you can get mounted first of all. That's the first thing. 
Yeah, he can get mounted, no problem for him. Middle Earth depends on us. Middle Earth depends on us. Yes, the champion Ernor has great skills with the sword, and he will get more damage and armor. Not available on the horse. Pretty much looks like Isildur image. <laughs> King of Gondor, Ernor leads the troops of Gondor and Arnor into battle. More damage and more defense, as well as double the experience for nearby allied troops. Then we have also the chance for the virtues of the ancients. Arnor sticks to the values of his ancestors, um, enemies around him, so it's pretty much like a LN deal, I believe. For Gondor. Yeah, it's literally LN deal, pretty much the same animation too. And then the forces of Gondor. Arnold costs one Gondor battalion of each class permanent, permanently on the battlefield. You see, that's kind of crazy. Because you can summon them, and unlike the other summons, they will remain there. In every single one of them. You see, we see pikemen, Gondor spearmen. You have also the Gondor archers, Gondor tower guards, Gondor soldiers. Yeah, that's kind of cra crazy. Okay. And they have also all the upgrades too. Right off the bat. I mean, you gotta be level 10 for it. It kinda makes sense, I believe. Then we have... What is this dude? Aranarf, Prince of Arnor. Okay. Heir of, the, heir of the throne of Arnor. The feat that is given to him and follows... Okay. Ah, uh, he's changing. Ah, uh, unfortunately we have not seen the abilities. Or oh, I have not seen this. Allied heroes near receive some for some time triple amount of damage and armor. <laughs> That's kinda crazy. What is that? Architects of Arnor. The architects of Arnor repeat okay, building repairment, like rebuild. Nothing crazy. Charge of the Prince. For a short time, he's gaining 20% movements with an attack speed. Hope of the kingdom. The prince stands for the hope of Arnor in the face of impending doom. Heroes near him will gain 25% attack and defense. I mean, it's like a sportive hero, I believe. Good then we have Sirdan. So this dude, I believe, is like a magician or kind of crazy star. Uh, it looks like Glorfindel to me from the design, a little bit, right? Uh, like a like an old version of of Glorfindel. I mean, yeah, not not too bad. We have the chance for the healing aura. So basically, it's going to be like a heal around him. The ring, Narya. Sirdan uses the hidden powers of the ring, Narya, and. Kindless, the fire in the hearts of the fellow warriors. So basically, leadership. Okay? Then we have the rising light of the grey heavens. Using the bright light of the heavens, Sirdan pushes the enemy away with extreme fear. Oh, crazy shenanigans. Then we have also shipbuilder of the grey heavens. Um, The lord of the grey heavens was for many Ages, one of the masters in the art of shipbuilding. <laughs> Dude, this is crazy. I mean, you can build what? Ships are built faster for a time. All right. Whirlpool. Okay. Hot tub stream. In this passage through the seas of Middle Earth, Sirdan become the beneficiary of almost power. Using the ancient wisdom of the Valar, he allows water to rise to the surface and create a maelstrom of death oh shenanigans you'll have to see it looks this looks pretty nice to me dude like this is some good design i mean that's kind of unbelievable like how you know like that's like oh my what is this repair area you can literally repair like five buildings at the same time with that blood of the Numenorians. it's like a passive thing horn of gondor it's pretty much like a yeah and then we have also the forest okay i want to see the forest so it's gonna be like a elvin wood right yeah pretty much like a elvin wood i'm actually curious if this is gonna stay there forever i'm not sure but on top of that they will get fear resistant and they may lose their leadership bonuses and on top of that you also get additional armor so it's like triple effect you know pretty strong fear resistant and you lose leadership and you get armor it looks also pretty nice to me with the stones um, I believe I'm missing out something. Um, last time I've done it, some people told me, yeah, you need to do that, you need to do that, you need to do that, you know what I'm saying. But it's very hard. Like, it's very hard for me to see what needs to be done. But luckily we have a lot of money. I'm gonna buy all the upgrades first of all, just to make sure that we are not missing anything. Okay? I mean, we have the money, we can afford it, so it's not a big deal. 
The farms are also getting level 2. And the donkey riders are, are gonna look like this, by the way. Look at them. <laughs> this is so funny. It looks like they are hobbitses. Hobbitses on, on horses, on donkeys. I mean, I believe they are kind of weak. What is this? Purchase banner carry upgrade. Okay. And unfortunately, we cannot uh, recruit any strong cavalry, I believe. Only the normal ones. And with the level 3, you can buy the night shields. But I believe only on the normal knights. I believe, I'm curious about... Who is this dude? Malbet. Where are you, dude? Oh. I have a plan. Okay, hold on a second. We rule this day. Um, uh, he's like a fortress god, I believe. Look at him. Okay. Requires Malbet. Oh, I believe it come from it came from this one, right? It's blacksmithing of the ancients. Discover the ancient tradition according to which the old Numenorians once forged their once forged their weapons and armor. The heavy armor and forged fleets and horse shields armor upgrades are twin. Okay, okay. The old Numenorians share their knowledge about their ancient scriptures of their economy. All farms produce more resources. Okay. Knowledge of the warfare. Yeah, all Ar Arno units will be 20% cheaper. Then we have the research battalion captains. Allows battalions to upgrade with a captain. The captain is much stronger than normal fighters and will lead the battalion. Additionally, unlocks battle formation toggle change, change for the uh, for the battalion. And then we have also recruit Arafant. Oh, I, I know what's up now. Hold on a second. I believe from almost every single building, we will be able to recruit additional units. So I want to build the archery range first of all. I mean, by the way, it looks like this. It looks pretty, uh, pretty good. Also, the fortress floors look pretty nice, you know, like very well designed. Trust me. Um, I'm sh not sure what needs to be done to get this guy some things. I have a plan. Hold on, I'm reading. Prophecy requires Malbet has his second vision. You need to use this one or what? I don't know. How can I get his second vision? <laughs> I don't understand. The knowledge allows the hero to prepare himself and his allies for the upcoming events. The hero and all nearby allied heroes in units earn experience 50% faster. Ability can be applied to any hero fighting for Arnor. And requires his third vision. I don't know. Like we have already used the first vision. Hmm. Very, very interesting. Okay, look, yeah, you see? We can recruit also heroes from this thing. Oh, yeah. Hold on a second. We also need to build um, the barracks. I want to see what we can recruit from the barracks. And I've, I'm pretty sh sure I'm missing out something. Last time you guys were flaming me in the, in the comment section down below. Hopefully, I won't get flamed that much in this, you know, in this one. Because I'm trying. I'm really trying to kind of cover everything, but it's so much, which... I get headache from it. I'm I'm being honest. They may be near. Okay, we have this dude now. He's called. I'm gonna call him Kart. Okay, so um, he looks like a Faramir, cheap Faramir version, pretty much. Yeah, he has like a reworked face. Faramir had like a face op uh, operation, I believe. So we can send him to actually get some levels. A lone guardian. And his men are the last survivors of the destroyed kingdom of Cardolan and guard their homeland to this day. A hill guard of Cardolan sets up his sets up his tent, watching for the horrors of Engma. It's like a Erovind, right? Let me check. Yeah, it's like Erovind, Erovoli from Legolas, pretty much. Donatan Rangers can now be appointed as hill guards. Dude, you know, I believe everything in this mod is connected in some way with each other, pretty much. So everything is kind of building up on itself. Like, for example, now we have Arafant. Arafant, another hero. Like, I believe at some point we will have, like, all the heroes, uh, like, the full bar will be full filled with heroes, you know? Where is our Barak's at? Barak's is here. 
And here we cannot... And we cannot recruit anything else. This dude, but look, look at this picture and look at this picture. <laughs> it's a little bit different. Yes, uh, changes the Palantir. Ah, he's like a secondary. That's kind of crazy, dude. You can get mounted. First of all, blessing of the royal family. Selected units in the target area will be rewarded by the. Okay, pretty much like experience, defense strategy. What is that? Hold on. Gives the command to occupy a building with Arnor Palantir Guardians. Ah. I believe this will have some sort of defense now, right? Hmm, I believe so. Not sure though. That the people looked upon us for guidance. <laughs> Fever of the Crown. Arafant accords the Fever of the Royal Crown in to the troops of Arnor. Selected you. Okay, pretty much experience. And we change the Palantir, um, Leadership Swartman leads the soldiers of Arnor into battle on the whole map. All Swartman of Arnor have more damage and more. That's crazy. Like, that's crazy. On the whole map, we don't need to even be nearby. That's kind of crazy. Spearmen, Archers. So pretty much he does it for the Swartman, for the, for the Spearmen, for the Archers, and also for the Cavalry. So pretty much, like, when you use it on all map, you're going to shine bright like a diamond, pretty much, right? Okay. Um, what are we missing? I want to also build up the blacksmith just to see. I want to. I want to have only this Gondor soldiers. Like, oh, we have also the ivory tower. Allows Mal. Oh, look, that's what it is. Allows Malvet to gain higher knowledge every time you activate the Palantir. Its power increases the field of the view of the fortress. Okay. So when I use this, it will be getting actually stronger. Look at them. You know, it looks like a. It's hard for me to tell, but this guy is looking like Kill Bill. You know, do you know the film in Kill Bill? The 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 the, the, the samurai who was training the the woman. He looks exactly like that. All right, hold on a second. Let's build the siege works too. We have the blacksmith. So I'm just curious. I want to build up every single building just to make sure that we are, that, that I'm not missing out too much. At least I'm gonna still miss out something, but I, I hope it's not gonna be too much. And are they also permanent? They apparently are permanent too. And I can make them stronger too, by the way. Oh yeah. Okay, this is up. Okay, nothing here. Um, we have seen the farm. We have seen this one. I don't know. I don't know what else I can do. I cannot even use the ivory tower. Oh, I can from this dude, maybe, no? How can I use Ivory Tower? I'm very curious. I have no clue. I, I bought it. I can see the Ivory Tower here too. But apparently I cannot use it. Maybe the Arno faction isn't the most detailed one. Because I've seen other, other, other factions like with the smoke. You know what I'm saying? Like the big dragons and stuff flying around. Crazy scary part. But this one doesn't seem to have too much shenanigans. Unless I miss them again. I don't know. Oh, look, we have, a, we have a tent now. Okay, so they get invisibility. Okay. This is ill news indeed. I'm a little bit disappointed. I'm a little bit disappointed from this dude. I was expecting from a ring hero way more. And look at this. This is still reloading. I think this has like a crazy cooldown. A crazy cooldown. Like, I believe I've been using this like 10 minutes ago, and this has like 10 minutes plus cooldown. Are you kidding me? How is this possible? Take heed. And also, I cannot use the Ivory Tower. Again, I believe, I mean, I, I'm not believing it, I know. There are so many different versions of the map, of the mod Dagor Dagor, Dagor Dagorov. I have like, it's very hard for me to understand. Which one should I use? Which one should I not use? You know, <laughs> I'm trying to figure out together. I mean, with you guys. But my first impression, I believe it's not a bad mod. I believe there is just too much input, which is not a bad thing. You know, it can be a good thing when it comes to uh, play this casually. And you can slowly discover the full faction by playing it over and over again. Obviously, not everybody has access to such a map. So you need to kind of fight your way to get the power points unlocked. And then, you know, learning it step by step. I was like, it was like a, like a crash course. You know what I'm saying? So basically, we were jumping in into all of that. We were able to, be, you know, 
get all the heroes at the same time, then switching back and forth between them. I sense that something is troubling you. I want to use the whirlpool. Go too far. Um, everyone is level ten. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. This is crazy. Let's scout this area. I want to use the whirlwind. Do it. Can I do it? Whirlpool. Look at them, look at them. They cannot move. Oh, the poor wargs. Okay, never mind. Oh, how many wargs are here? Four of them or what? Uh, can I, uh, how can I auto attack? Can you auto attack? I want to see if you are ranged. Uh, you are ranged, I believe. Have, he has sword, so. I'm assuming he's ranged. Yeah, he's ranged. He's like two swords. He's like the true sword man. And has 440 damage. I mean, his damage output is nothing, by the way. Like, look at this damage. Okay, we, we can compare this. So he's gonna hit like this, which is also pretty good, right? So this was this was this dude hitting twice. He hit the warclay twice, right? And now we're gonna bring the king. Which has the which hero has the most damage? I don't wanna miss that. Hold on. And this hero is the most damage, definitely. Ellen heal. I mean, but he's attacking slower. Oh, you can one-shot them. You can one-shot them. Hold on. I want to try one more thing before we're going to call it. Oh, we have another one. Arvelek. What is this? Glamdrink. Arvelek shatters the Palantir of Amon Sul on the ground and creates a powerful explosion that destroys all units nearby in himself but it's on cooldown when you summon him Come with me. <laughs> it looks pretty funny to me and but i want what i wanted to do actually i wanted to summon the last alliance because what i can do now with my dude um look isildur and where is my here so what isildur can do hold on i will show you guys you can use the blade of narsil on him right no I don't know. Isildur, the heir of Gondor, the heir of the throne of Gondor, receives the power of. I believe I know what we must do. Some miles to travel. I'm a bit confused. The not gonna lie. Watches. We must defend our troops. We must defend our troops. There should be a troll there at the bottom left side, so we can try to use it. But I didn't know that you can use it. That's the thing. Yeah, I can use it against a build against a. There are two, by the way, two trolls. Hold on. Yeah, you can one shot them. Yeah, it deals actually crazy damage because you need normally like four hits to kill a troll. So basically, it would mean you get more than 400 percent more damage for the one auto attack. One auto attack. I believe it's good when it comes to kill heroes like Sauron, for example. You know. Mm, yeah, I mean, I I believe that's all about it for this faction. I'm pretty certain that I'm missing out something, but I don't know what it is. I want to, you know, check this one as well. Buttering Ram. I want to see this one. Research dance counterweights. Mm, <laughs> it's so much complex, you know, I, I don't know. I see the ivory tower, but I cannot use it. That's very, very... Form a wall. Now, man, now. Can I use the tunnel system too? The Look, they are, they are leaving fire on the ground too. Okay. Be of good yeah, I believe I've we have seen everything, right, guys? Yeah, I think so. As well. We can use the siege weapon Be now. Still. Yeah, I think so as well. Yep, okay. I mean, that's it for the Unknown Faction. But again, don't worry, guys. We have, like, many, many other factions to cover for the upcoming days. And then you can let me know what you, which faction you want me to cover in the next video. And hopefully it's going to be a bit more detailed um, and a bit more wow effect. Maybe it's because of the version I'm using now from the Dagor Dagorov mod. But I've been missing some uh, shenanigans. Like, like this wow effect. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's still a wow effect. It's a very detailed mod. I think there are not many mods out there that provide the same amount of content when it comes to descriptions 
for casual players like discoverability about the mod is kind of insane like you have to eventually play the one faction 50 times to understand the full potential of the faction again it's not balanced potentially right <laughs> it's about fun and entertainment and i think you can give it a shot i will also you know let a let a uh, link in the description down below for like a download tutorial if you want to give it a shot you can download that and play it yourself and next time we can take a look into gondor rohan la florian imladris mordor like you have so many factions and imagine you need to invest like 50 games on each of them to understand what the faction is all about what the mod is all about anyways did you played i hope you enjoyed if you did don't forget to leave a like subscribe for more videos like this in the future i will see you next time until then take care of yourself keep hitting like a truck and as always stay beyond standards peace out boys